All right, I had some questions about how to do the inverse trig functions or arc sine, arc cosine, arc tangent functions. Um, again, you'll see that I have my special triangles here, the 30, 60, 90, and the 45, 45, 90, with the sides on there. All positive because I'm thinking first quadrant. And then my little grid for uh, the code of where the different functions are positive and negative. A silly trig code means they're all positive in the first quadrant, the sine is positive in the second, and its partner function cosecant, tangent, and cotangent are positive in the third, and cosine and um, secant are positive in the fourth. And those three things are helpful when you're trying to figure out how to do these, um, these problems. Arc sine x. Think of it with this statement, whenever you see arc sine x, or arc cosine x, or arc uh, tangent x, what angle has sine theta equal to x? All right? So that's what that means. So if I ask you to figure out arc sine negative 1 half, the question you're asking is what angle has sine of theta equal to negative one-half. Once it's in that function, it's a pretty easy thing to solve. All right, first of all, um, the sine is negative. So where can the sine be negative? Right? Uh, it can be negative. Well, it's positive in these two, so it can be negative in these two. And when we're doing the inverse tangent functions, the sine can only be in these two quadrants, so I can't use that quadrant at all. In fact, we don't use that quadrant for any of these um, inverse trig functions. So, if the sine has to be negative, my only choice is down here in this quadrant here. So, that means that I draw my triangle down here, some theta, and it's sine opposite over hypotenuse, 1 over 2, that 1 is a negative. Okay? So, what angle is that? Well, when the sine is a half, I know that it's 30. But if it's 30 down in this quadrant, it's really negative 30. Right? So, um, and if I want this in radians, it's negative pi over 6. Answer, answer, simple as that, right? Okay, let's try another one. Okay, arc sine of root 3 over 2. So what angle has sine theta equal to root 3 over 2? All right, the sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so opposite over hypotenuse. That's a 60 degree angle, right? What, all right, sine is positive, so what quadrant can I be in? Sine is positive. All of them are positive here, so I'm in the first quadrant. And the sine opposite over hypotenuse is root 3 over 2. And that's a 60 degree angle, right? And 60 degree angle in, term, in radians, pi over 3, right? You know how to do that. All right, let's do a couple examples with tangent. So find the exact value of arc tan negative 1 or arc tan 0. So tangent of sum theta equals negative 1, right? What angle is the tangent of negative 1? Or this one, tangent theta equals 0. Now, when I have tangent negative 1, I need to figure out what quadrant it's in first. Let's just use this grid. Remember, they're all positive here, so the tangent is negative here and here. We don't use this quadrant, so tangent's negative there, so let's draw the picture. My theta has to be here. If the tangent is negative 1, tangent is opposite over adjacent, opposite over adjacent, and I need 1, so it's got to be a 45. This is negative 1, this is 1, tangent of that theta, negative 1 over 1, which is negative 1. What is that theta? It's a 45 degrees, right? What is it in radians? Pi over 4. 
But po positive pi over 4 is up here. What's down here? Negative pi over 4. There you go. Um, what about 0? Where is tangent 0? Any thoughts on that one? So tangent is 0. So to get 0, well to get 1, we had 1 over 1. To get 0, I need that to be a 0. So let's look at that non-triangle for a minute. This side's 1. This side is 0. It's really not a triangle, is it? But um, opposite over adjacent, 0 over 1, is 0. So I imagine that that has a side of 0. And so what degree would this be if I was measuring down so that that distance there would be 0? I wouldn't be measuring down any distance at all, right? So theta would have to be 0 degrees in that case. So that one's kind of tricky. I like to think of it with a non-triangle or a triangle with a side 0, which of course you know is impossible, but sometimes it, it makes sense to look at it that way. And uh, so hopefully you can do these arc uh, functions or the inverse trig functions as they're really called. Um, try and figure out the statement that you need to use first. Arc tan is negative 1, tangent of theta equals negative 1. Arc tan is 0, tangent of theta equals 0. What theta has a tangent of 0? And that, you know, what over what is equal to 0? 